All right, everyone. So Aaron Rodgers spoke out after their loss to the 49ers. So we're reading from NFL.com uh, a transcript of what he said after the game. So we're going to redo two separate parts. It says, that's an excuse for sure. I'm not going to use that. I don't think we should. We expect greatness when we step on the field. There were moments that felt really good, but not sustained. We felt like if we could just get a first down, we'd be rolling. We had those three and outs, which really hurt us. I think a lot of stuff is correctable, which is great for coaches, but frustrating for players. We know how close we were slash are, but there's no time for that. We're going to move on to Tennessee quickly. And then we've got a game four days after that. This is a tough opener for us. Travel-wise and schedule-wise, but no excuses. We have to play better. I have to play better. We'll bounce back next week. So what he's talking about when he says um, that's an excuse is talking about how, you know, basically them not playing in preseason and all the pieces not fitting together. Okay, so then he, he had this to say. I could play better. I missed a couple throws. I missed one to Garrett. The last drive I was in the pick, I missed slightly inside on that one. I felt overall I was getting the ball out pretty good. We had some opportunities I'd like back. So that's his full... Um, or the, most of his stuff he said after the game. Now, I have to say, everything he said there is 100% on point. And I think it is a big admission by him to say, look, I could play better. We could play better. A lot of the stuff we feel is correctable, but we don't have time to do this, right? We don't have time to get this thing rolling. Now, this is a reason that they should have been playing in the preseason, right? This is a reason that maybe even though he's older, you just do one or two drives, right? Just get a feel for some of this because he's right. Anybody who watched that game last night, Certainly, you took away that San Francisco is a dominant, dominant team, and they're going to remain dominant. I mean, the way they were able to control the game uh, was was huge. I mean, there's just no other way about it. With that being said, the Jets had their opportunities, right? The Jets, I know the score may not say that, but if you watch the game, there were a few plays that had they gone differently, this would have been at least a closer game. And, you know, one of the ones I'm thinking about is they're down 16 in the in the fourth, but they have a third and one, right? And then that catch by Wilson gets called back. So now you got a third and one, and it was just play calling, right? Play calling was not good. They run the ball right up the middle. Not a great job. And then Rodgers talks about the pass he threw that missed, and then that was really the game. Right there, that was certainly the game. When they scored on the possession before, what happens there? Okay, they, you know, hand the ball off on the two-point conversion. Once again, it gets stuffed. It was, there was play calling issues. There were, you know, fumbles, there were drops. There was a lot of things that I think held them back. I don't think you take away from that game that the Jets aren't elite or, or that the 49ers are on a, a completely different level. I think the takeaway is the 49ers came into this season ready to go 110% locked in in like a well-oiled machine. That's not what I expected. I did not expect that. I thought with Trent Williams missing time, with Ayuk missing time, with McCaffrey missing time, that this would be a little ugly. It wasn't ugly in the slightest they came out when they were ready to go i so i think that tells more of the story like if i think if these two teams played in week eight or they play in week nine or if they played in the super bowl i think the game would look differently i don't know if the jets would be able to win but i don't think it would be as you know as far away in terms of score i don't think the 49ers would be quite as dominant i think that really was just you know just the jets were not were not how do you say it? They weren't, you know, they they weren't working together well, right? They they just weren't working together well in this game. All the pieces weren't fitting together well. That's something that they have to work on and get done this season. But the key here, and this is the key, is they got to do it soon, right? Because you can't fall too far behind in the AFC playoff race. So thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.